Hey guys, today we're talking about how I went from no book, no author platform, and no writing friends to becoming a full-time writer, completing a draft and a half of my debut novel, and building a platform of over 2,000 writing friends in one year. First of all, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Wang. I'm an author of an upcoming YA fairy fantasy series. And on this channel, I do videos about author platforms, writing tips, writing community, and my author journey, just like in this video. So if that sounds good to you, definitely subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. Well, it's officially 2019, you guys. And like many other author tubers, I was going to kick off the year by sharing with you my 2019 writing goals. But since I recently passed my one year mark of joining the online writing community, I asked a bunch of you on Instagram if you would like to see me sort of go through the highlights of this past year to show you exactly how I got to where I am today, and a bunch of you were really excited about it. So I decided to hold off on sharing with you my 2019 writing goals until next week probably, and first do a sort of year in the life of writing my first book and building my author platform. I also wanted to do this because I know for myself that I can get so future focused and quickly move on to the next thing without fully appreciating where I've been. So I'm really excited to take you through some highlights of my bullet journal and also my Instagram account to not only meditate for myself on all the things I can be thankful for, but also share my story and hopefully inspire some of you guys at the same time. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, I just wanted to show you my two different bullet journals. This is from last year, and this is gonna be 2019, and I'm gonna be showing you everything that is in this bullet journal so far in next week's video when I talk about my 2019 goals. But inside this well-worn one is going to be my story from this year, so let's break into it. All right, so let's start at the beginning. If you didn't know already, this time last year, I had a part-time job, but I was also getting really excited about delving back into the fiction world and writing my first book. So in December, I decided that I was going to start on Instagram and get connected to some other writers, particularly my friend Bethany, who I had found on there. And we actually met while we were both doing music in college. And so that was like so many years ago. And now to find each other online again, both sort of starting to pursue uh, writing careers was just so uncanny and so cool. And she had started doing a Instagram challenge around uh, the end of December, beginning of January. And I was like, okay, you know what? I think I need some friends. I think I just need some support as I start on this journey. So let's do this. And so that was my first post on Instagram. And then I got really inspired by Bethany and was like, you know what? She's created such cool community by doing an Instagram challenge. And there seems to be a lot of writers here on Instagram. So I'm going to create my own challenge. And I created a month long challenge called the hashtag plotter life challenge and it was all about plotting your novel in a month so i started off that got a bunch of people excited really tried to just dm people and get to know them a little bit and invite them to do the challenge with me starting in january but i started sort of announcing it and talking about it on the 29th and we'll get to more of what that turned into in a bit then on the 31st I decided that my word of the year was going to be brave and that the word brave was really going to catapult me into finishing this work in progress that I had sort of been playing around with for years but had just started getting serious about and it is a fairy fantasy for young adults and you guys I'm going to get into more of where I've gotten to with that but I literally at this point maybe had like a chapter and that chapter isn't even in the book anymore so so yeah, I've come a long way. So I'm excited to show you how I've sort of taken that word brave and it really has manifested itself throughout the year. Then January hit and I started the Plotter Life Challenge officially. And through that, I started to meet so many writers that I am dear friends with to this day, including Bruna, who is the Writer's Journey on Instagram. She's actually become one of my CPs and so has Bethany. So it's just so cool to see at the start of last year um, how these friendships have grown and how vital they have been to my progress as a writer, which we'll get into. 
Then on the 6th, I did my first Instagram live stream and I was just really inspired by seeing other people do live streams and getting a bunch of people to chat and engage, not just on the comments of posts, but to really um, have a lot of fun um, in real time. And actually I do a lot of live streams on this channel as well now. I did like live streams all the way, I think from like the end of November to December this past year. And that was super, super fun. It's just a really amazing way to get to know people and to build community. And so I started doing weekly live streams for the Plotter Life Challenge and we got to really chat about all the different uh, daily challenges and how we were doing with our plotting and it was just the best. And again, I just have so many friends that are still with me to this day because of hosting this challenge. Then on the 18th, I got my first post to get over 100 likes. So I'm gonna be telling you a little bit, yeah, about my writing journey, but also my author platform journey. So this is where I really started to get like traction right off the bat, especially by hosting a challenge and really building into the writing community. And so that was super encouraging. And then on the 27th, um, I just wanted to highlight that I shared the first lines that I had written for my work in progress. And I just noted here that they're totally different now, but it was such a big step for me to take those first lines that I was working with and share them and get some feedback. And it was just really cool. Then on the 29th, I started the Plotter Life Writers Facebook group because our Plotter Life challenge was finishing up and I didn't want to say goodbye to all these people or lose contact. So I actually started a Facebook group that is still going on today and I'll tell you how that is going um, and what cool things are coming up as we go on. But the Plotter Life Writers Facebook group has just been amazing this year and I'm so glad that I started that as a continuation um, after January. And I just want to add in here, this is something that I'm going to probably say at the end and really emphasize as well but you guys one thing that I have so learned on this journey is that it takes a village to write a book and it really takes a village to be a writer because it can be so isolating so one of my big takeaways has definitely been that you need writing community to really enjoy and make the most of this writing journey and there's a ton more that I'm going to show you so let's keep going then February came along and on the 4th I did the word sprint challenge Challenge with Bethany, which I just continued to sort of uh, engage whether I was hosting a challenge or um, doing someone else's challenge. Again, community was so, so important and so, so encouraging. Um, on the 26th, I actually started um, being involved in the Author Influence course, which is a course by Out of the Bex, who is also on YouTube, but also on Instagram. And she created this fabulous course for writers that really wanted to um, stretch their influence, particularly on Instagram. So I actually took a lot of her advice and started doing more flat lays on my Instagram and creating like a theme and a consistency um, and got started to get over like a hundred likes and a bunch of engagement on each post that I made, which is crazy. So if you guys are looking for help with your platform, specifically on Instagram, I would definitely check out this course and I'll link it below so that you can check it out. Next on the 28th, I decided I was going to engage in Camp Nano for the first time. And with that, I decided to create another challenge and I created hashtag Camp Nano Bootcamp. And so that was a really, really fun and so in March, we started Camp Nano Boot Camp, and I actually ended up hosting a cabin in the Plotter Life Writers Facebook group since I didn't really like the format of having the cabins on the official website. I really wanted to have as many people in this cabin as possible and not have a limit. So we did that and that was really fun. I have a few things in here too that are just fun. Like on the 14th, I started reading the Harry Potter series for the first time and a bunch of you are probably gonna be like, what are you crazy? You've never read it. But I've seen all the movies and I loved the movies, but I had never read all the way through the book series. So I started doing that on that day. And then I also uh, started sort of looking more into plotting and different things. So I had back here had really gotten a good chunk of my plotting done for my work in progress, but I was still working through a lot because my um, book is sort of turning into at least a duology and it has um, a lot of main characters, so a big cast and just a lot of complexity. So it was taking me a while to really get it plotted. So I started learning about the Save the Cat beat sheet here 
And through sort of talking about this and being involved in my Camp Nano boot camp and stuff like that, I started getting connected to people on Instagram like R. Judy Wrights and Carly Book Cook. And again, these ladies are some of my closest friends now. So it's, again, just community is so important, you guys. The 26th, I started reading Six of Crows, which was one of my favorite books that I read this year. And around that same time, I also went to New York to the Teen Author Festival, where I got to meet Kim Chance, who is being featured there, as well as Megan LaCroix and Amara, authoress, who is on Instagram, and my friend Micah. And it was just so cool. Got to really visit with these ladies and engage in person. And so if you guys are finding community online, great. But I would also really, really suggest that you invest in going to some of these live events, because literally the connections I I've made at these things have been life-changing these women are amazing and I just am so glad I got to meet them in person and then at the end of the month I actually decided that I was going to be a beta reader for the first time and started being Bethany's beta reader for her sequel Pearl's number and that was just a fun experience and I was sort of back and forth a little bit about it just because I was like well I should be focusing on my own book but I really felt like I learned a lot by being a beta reader and it also helped me prep so that when I'm going to be doing beta readers actually hopefully in a couple months I had that experience of being one so I knew what to sort of explain to my beta readers or how to bring them through that process. So that was super, super valuable and so much fun. Then in April, I started my first Camp Nano, so that was really awesome. And then I also started my Twitter account. I had spent a few months on Instagram and I knew that there were also a bunch of writers and also literary agents on Twitter. And so I felt like I had really established a lot of great friendships and a lot of great community here and I wanted to sort of start branching out. And I would really suggest that for any of you who are starting out as well, you would really take like one platform and really build yourself into that community and then you can branch out to others then also during april there was a micro story contest going on on instagram and this is another great thing that happens on instagram from time to time and writing laura ferrari and ritzy were hosting this one and i was doing camp nano but i was sort of uh frustrated and just needed a break so i decided to enter this micro story uh, contest i think it was like 100 words or something. Uh, you can find it actually on my books page on my website because I ended up winning this micro story contest, which was crazy and such like an encouragement. And even if I hadn't had one, I really had a lot of fun writing this micro story. So if you ever need like a break from what you're doing in order to breathe new life into your writing process, just take like 100 or 200 words and say, I'm going to write a short story right now. And um, I swear it like breathes so much life into my creative process during that that month. Then I just noted a couple other things like I took my first official author headshot which is the one that is currently um, active right now by my brother Matted Pictures who is amazing. Thanks Matt. And then I just also wanted to note that I started reading Children of Blood and Bone which was also um, a best read of this year and really influential um, in my writing as well in addition to Six of Crows. So I just wanted to note that. And then I also read To Kill a Kingdom which I absolutely loved as well. These are like three like major highlights uh, of this year for me. And then um, while I was reading that, I was on vacation in Florida, which I wanted to note because I went to Harry Potter World and it was amazing, you guys. I have a whole highlights on my Instagram dedicated to my trip if you want to take a look. Um, but it was so, so much fun and just got me that much more excited about finishing my book. All right, now let's move on to the second page in May. And the first thing we have here is that um, while I was reading Children of Blood and Bone, I actually invited the rest of my Plotter Life Writers Facebook group to join me in reading it and we did a book club and it was so fun because we were not only sort of explaining what we liked about it but um, what we thought about it as writers and the craft of writing and I actually have a series coming up about story structure and it's going to be a collaboration with one of my dear friends so I'm really excited about that you guys um, but doing this book club was so so much fun and I felt like I really learned a lot as a writer by doing it.
doing it. Then I just wanted to know that uh, on my Instagram, I was just celebrating that it was my three year anniversary with my husband, Ben. And if you guys haven't seen a lot of my videos or my posts, um, Ben is just so, so, so important. And I hadn't even gotten to this place yet where I had become a full-time writer because I was still in this place where I was um, working my part-time job. Um, but he has always been such a great support and is the biggest reason why I've been able to go to full-time writing. And with his support, I decided to start my author tube. And this was something that I was doing a ton of Instagram lives and people had started asking me, hey, do you have an author tube or you should start one? And I had thought about it for a while and I just knew it was gonna be a big commitment. Um, but then I said, yes, I'm going to do it. Um, and it's been so fun, obviously, I'm still here. And at this point, I've grown to over 800 subscribers, which has been crazy and I'm just just blown away. So thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and being a part of this journey with me. Next, I put up my AuthorTube trailer. So that's how I started my AuthorTube. Um, and then I just noted I started reading Save the Cat officially for the first time. So over here, I had just sort of looked up the beats online, but you guys, the book had so, so much more in it. And then um, there's also another book that I'm gonna, I think I know at some point later, that I started reading Save the Cat Writes a Novel, which was just like the next tier of um, just so focused on novel writing and so revolutionary, you guys. If you haven't picked it up, you definitely should. But I started reading that um, as a novel craft book. And then on the 20 fourth I posted my first writing help video which was all about writer's block so if you guys have any trouble with uh, getting through writer's block my first two videos on this channel ever besides my trailer is all about that with all my tips so that's actually sort of funny to like go back and watch a year later and be like oh my gosh <laughs> Then on the 26th, I participated in my first ever pondering writing retreat, which was started by um, a huge group of writers, but particularly by Bruna, who I mentioned over here, the writer's journey on Instagram. And you guys, it is a free writing retreat that happens uh, over the course of like a day or a couple days over the weekend, periodically throughout the year. And this was the very first one they had. And I was so honored because I was invited to do a live stream on there. So it's a series of live streams on all different writers accounts. Um, some of them are word sprints and a bunch of them are like writing help topics. And so that was really fun. So I got to do one with Bruna and we did our first plotter mastermind. And the masterminds are basically a time where we invite people to join us live to discuss plotting and also bring our plotting issues that we're having, our story issues, and be able to help each other and brainstorm together to get past our stuck places. So this has been really fun as well. Then we have June, and in June I went to my second live sort of readerly writerly uh, event called BookCon in New York and it was epic as I've written. Um, I got to meet Mandy Lynn in person for the first time as well as JL Willow and Kristen Martin um, but particularly I got really close with Mandy after this and we ended up finding out that we live like an hour or so away from each other so it's been really cool to just build friendships with her and um, be able to do book, book con with her was just a joy. It was so much fun. This is definitely an event I want to do again this year. So if you guys are going to BookCon, definitely let me know because I think I'm going to try to plan some kind of um, meetup, especially for the Plotter Life Writers Facebook group people um, and just pick a time and a space sometime that weekend and say everybody that is around, like show up at this time and let's meet up and chat for a little while during BookCon. So let me know if you're deciding to go to that. And then next I have that I announced my second Camp Nano cabin because Camp Camp Nano was going to start up again, so we hosted that again in the Plotter Life Writers Facebook group, which was great. And then um, I started sharing about my series Bible at this point, and I have a video where I not only, there's one video where I share how I made my uh, series Bible like binder, sort of like a physical way, and then I have a second video where I um, show you how to create a digital series Bible that you can take anywhere as long as you have like a phone or a computer or something, um, but the series Bible has been so pivotal in my plotting for my story. And again, I'm still sort of in a plotting stage um, where I've written a little bit during Camp Nano. I can't, I didn't win camp during this part, um, but I did write a lot, but then I was sort of replotting, refiguring stuff out. And the series Bible's 
totally helped me out. Um, so I'll link those videos below if you want to check them out. Uh, and then I just put little markers in here. Like this was my first time to get over 200 likes on Instagram. So that was really fun. And then July hit and July is when the second Camp Nano started. Um, this was where I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep it really simple, um, quote unquote simple, and make my goal like 20,000 words and actually ended up winning Camp Nano for the first time. And it really was, you guys, because I had so much support from the writing community, the cabin and the Plotter Life writers. And I just, it kept me so motivated to see all the posts that were going on. So that was super fun. And again, I, I've written more this year consistently than I've ever written in my entire life. And it's literally um, because I've had so much support and finding the writing community. So that was awesome. Then, as I said before, I had my series Bible video and that video now has over 2000 views, which is crazy. Um, so I'm super excited about that. So obviously that's really helpful if you guys need to check that out. And then I started thinking about Pitch Wars at this point and Pitch Wars was at the end of August, you guys. Um, so I don't know what I was thinking, but I just made this outlandish goal that I was going to enter Pitch Wars, even though I didn't even have my first draft finish. It was crazy. Um, but what it did do, you guys, is I, um, got farther on my project than I would have if I didn't have like some kind of specific goal like that so spoiler alert I didn't make pitch wars this past year but I did make so much progress on the 26th I started a new theme on Instagram which I just noted and the power of themes you guys I have consistently gotten over 200 likes or more on all of my posts um, since again starting the author influence course and um, sort of really delving into like developing a theme for um, my Instagram and really making the descriptions engaging. Anyway, I could talk about Instagram a lot. Um, actually, I did a collab video with iWriterly all about Instagram and Twitter, so I'll link that below as well. But um, yeah, so just noting little like mile markers in my um, platform. And then at that point, I also announced meeting and surpassing my Camp Nano goal. And I also won a 50 page critique and a call with an agent from Melissa Hope's contest, who is Hopeful Happenings here on YouTube, um, but also on Instagram. And yeah, so that was like super exciting. I still have yet to send Melissa my 50 pages to critique because I want to get it into a better spot, but um, that's that. And then I did get that agent call as well. And I'm looking to do a video at some point to share with you guys what I learned um, through that call with that agent, um, because I just got to ask any questions I wanted, which was super awesome. I also announced that my author website was coming soon. So this was sort of a point, you guys, where in here I had decided um, while talking to Ben and figuring out all the details that I was going to go full time as an author. I really felt like I had made so much progress with my platform and with my writing. And I just like was so motivated that I was like, this is what I meant to do. My creativity had always been more music um, and writing lyrics. I had also written a lot of fiction when I was younger, but it had just steered more towards music. And at this point, I was just like this, I'm having so much favor and so much fun in what I'm doing that um, this is what I'm going to go after. And I'm super excited. And so I was like, the next step is I need to be more established and I want to put together an author website. So that's what I announced there. And then I announced that I was stepping down from my day job at the end of August and I was going to become an author full time. So, so starting in December, I would never have guessed that by July, that's where I would have been. But because of the writing community and because of the progress I made and because I had talked to my wonderful husband who was like, yes, like basically we had a, a deal that if I could find some way to work from home and make a certain amount of money uh, per month, that we would be okay and we worked out our budget and um, and I could pursue writing and uh, other side projects. And yeah, so that was crazy because in August I got my author website live and uh, started my newsletter. So if you guys are interested, 
I always share a bunch of really great stuff in my newsletter and that will be linked below, but my author website went live. And then I shared wanting a writing coach on Instagram because I just had so much going on that I was like, I need someone to like organize my life. So actually Jade Young on Instagram reached out to me at that point and she was like, um, I'm a writing coach if you wanna work with me. So I was like, okay. So I actually have a whole video about my experience with her and it was awesome and just super, super helpful and motivating and all the tips that I have learned from her I've been using to just make more and more progress. So thank you, Jade. Then I just noted that I had another plotter mastermind at this point and Bruna and I started taking on Carly Book Cook and Sci-Fi Oh My, um, who is Jamie on Instagram. And so yeah, just collaborating. I'm gonna show you guys later how many people I've collaborated with over this year. So it wasn't even just being in the community but actually collaborating with people and um, learning together and sharing things together has been super crucial. I also collaborated with Bruna in hosting Finish That Draft on Instagram. It was a challenge that we were just like, dude, we are gonna finish our drafts if it kills us. So we wanted to finish that draft by the end of August and both of us did and a bunch of other people did it with us, which was great. Um, this is the one downside I just wanted to note, but I didn't make pitch wars, but I did make so, so, so much progress, which was invaluable. All right, next page. And I swear there's only this page and some of the major highlights that I'm gonna share at the end. But in September, I announced um, that I finished my first draft and it was such a milestone, you guys. I couldn't believe it. I had made it from start to finish and it, it had holes in it. It wasn't perfect, but I did it. And to actually say that I've done that, like so many people go out with that goal and never get there. And so I was really, really excited and again, so thankful to all of my friends and the support that I had from um, all my platforms and you guys on YouTube. It was so cool to just announce that in one of my videos and get all of you guys so excited with me. So thank you. Then I also hosted Edit That Draft with Bruna, which was super fun to sort of follow, finish that draft with Edit That Draft. And we're still sort of in Edit That Draft, but that's okay. We're making progress and that's what matters. Um, on the 7th, I started hosting my own micro story contest with Reedsy. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot about that. Um, yeah, so Reedsy had hosted the contest that I won and then they had reached out to me later and said, hey, would you like to host a, a contest on your platform? Um, so that was really cool and really fun to like be able to give back in a way that like had sort of blessed me earlier in the year. So that was awesome. And then um, we started hosting some events in the Plotter Life writing community on Facebook, one of them being a CP Finder event. Um, so a bunch of people were talking about how they needed to find critique partners. And so me and then my team that I had started putting together for the Plotter Life Writers group, because it had gotten so big and a little overwhelming for me to handle on my own, I had Natalie, Cam, Maverick, and Alex all come on board with me and help me create this amazing CP Finder event where a bunch of people found their critique partners um, and we're probably going to host another one. So if you need a critique partner um, at some point this year, we will probably host this event again and help you find your perfect critique partner. So definitely consider joining the Facebook group. Then in October, Preptober began and in the Plotter Life Writers Facebook group, we um, hosted some Preptober events to help people prep. And I also noted that I think one of my Instagram posts reached 520 likes. So again, just sort of marking those different um, milestones. And then on the 8th, we announced that we were going to not only host a cabin for NaNoWriMo in the Plotter Life group, we were going to host a Harry Potter themed Nano House Cup cabin, um, which was super fun. I have a video about that that I'll link below too. But it was just really cool because we split up into the different Hogwarts houses and competed to see which house would write the most words in the month. So that was really motivating. And I'll get to that uh, in November. But additionally, in October, I also did a author coach giveaway with Jade Young. So so that was really great again for um, Jade to help me out so much, but then for me to also do a giveaway with her to um, bless somebody else with her amazing help. So that was really fun. And then I also wanted to note that this is where I started reading Save the Cat Writes a Novel because it did come out in October. And you guys, again, just 
game changer. You need to read it. Then we get to November and I swear you guys, we are almost done. Thanks for sticking with me. If you're still enjoying this video and you're still here with me, thank you so much. Give this video a like if you're enjoying it. And if you aren't already, definitely consider subscribing because I have so much more goodness planned in 2019. But let's keep going through here in November. On the first, NaNoWriMo began and you guys, I have never won NaNoWriMo. I've tried it in the past, again, without writing friends, without a lot of support, and I could never make it through. Um, but this year, spoiler alert, I did. And we also had our NaNo House Cup going in the Plotter Life Writers Group, and so that was super motivating as well. But NaNoWriMo began, and I also, I don't know why I did this at the same time, but I had been brainstorming how I could start helping the writing community even before I had a book out in some way that was unique to me. And I realized that I had had a lot of success with my author website and a lot of authors were really struggling with their websites. And at the same time, I really needed to start making a little side money so that I could help support our household. So even though I didn't have any books out and I couldn't be making any money off of them at the moment, I realized that I could help authors with their author website. So I launched my services. And if you are wanting to create your own website or you need help in improving yours or you would like me to create it for you, um, I have a bunch of services that I'll link below and this was really fun and awesome. I actually got to work with Melissa Hope and EC Woodham on Instagram and create their websites and launch with their websites already created as examples. So that was awesome. And then by the 29th, I had announced that I won NaNo for the first time ever and that was during a live sprint that I did with Bethany here on the channel. So that that was really fun. So if you want to see me, um, actually the moment that I win NaNoWriMo and I sort of celebrate, it's at the end of this video. So that was really cool. And at this point, I had already had a first draft done of my work in progress. So at this point, I had written 50,000 words of my second draft, but I was only halfway through the book. So um, my second draft is halfway complete at the end of November. Then we're almost caught up. This is December, so just last month. And on the first, I started hosting an author website boot camp for about 19 authors that really wanted to learn how to create their websites for themselves. So that is wrapping up this week. I'm super excited to do a video and show a bunch of you some of the web websites that these amazing authors have created and the books that they are working on, but that has been a whole project in and of itself. And at the same time, I've been starting to share um, my chapters of the first half of my second draft with my CPs, Bruna and Bethany. And so I've been also critiquing theirs as they've been giving feedback on mine and me doing some edits. So you can tell I'm a very busy girl, <laughs> um, but it's all a bunch of fun. Um, but there is going to be a level of me needing to focus a little bit more on certain things in 2019, which I'll talk about in next week's video. Cool, so that is the full year. And then I just wrote out a bunch of highlights that I just really wanted to um, remember for myself without having to look through all of this but these are all the things that I accomplished this year guys I got to write my first draft and get it done for my writing sort of goals. I got the first half of my second draft done and I won Camp NaNoWriMo for the first time, which was so, I was so over the moon about that, you guys. Um, I started sending chapters to my critique partners for the first time, which has been such a great experience in and of itself. And I might do a video on that later too. I started collecting uh, beta readers and I have over 30 people interested. And this is because I really, again, built up my my platform and made writing friends and built up my newsletter subscribers because a lot of these came from my newsletter recently so that was awesome and then I won a micro story contest which again was just like a really cool boost in the middle of the year then for social media and sort of my author platform overall um, I went from zero to 1,593 followers, and this is all by like December 21st, so I actually have a little bit more than that now in all of these, but it took me about 12 months to get to this point. For YouTube, I went from zero to 805 subscribers in seven months, so that's been amazing. Thank you all, and there's actually even more of you. I think I'm at like 827 today or something, so thank you so much, all of you that have subscribed. It really means a lot to me. Then for my Facebook writers group, we're at about 560. 64 members in about 10 months and this group has just been 
again, amazing. Love you all. Thank you all that are in here. And there are more things that we are planning for this group this year. So get excited. For Twitter, um, I'm at 475 followers in eight months. And then I did a bunch of collabs um, with a bunch of great authors over these past 12 months. And some of those have been Melissa Hope from Hopeful Happenings, um, Peggy Spencer, Meg Latour from iWriterly, R. Judy Writes, Mandy Lynn, Jade Young, Bethany Atizada, Bruna from The Writer's Journey on Instagram, The Pondering Writing Retreat, Carly Book Cook, Sci-Fi Oh My, writing Lara Ferrari and Reed C and even more. So this has again been just like a great part of sort of getting together with other writers in the writing community to help the writing community. Um, and these connections and these friendships have been amazing. So I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you that have either reached out to me to collaborate this year um, or agreed to collaborate with me. And it's just been so much fun. I love you all. And then um, last but not least, I have my author website and my newsletter, and I have about 537 subscribers um, in about five months. And then I have my author website services. And just if anyone is looking to start, yeah, some kind of side business um, in addition to writing books, um, I was able to make over $2,000 in just two months. I had three websites created and launched by the end of the year, two websites in the works, three scheduled for next year, and actually have a couple more now. And then um, I did, hosted my boot camp. I had about 19 participants. Um, and so those are going to be launching very soon. And then I had a bunch of just consulting calls, which are about an hour, me just helping authors who want to improve their website. And I had about six calls for that. So I'm just really excited. I wanted to have some kind of record and just highlight of this incredible year, you guys. And I had a couple of things that I just wanted to say were like my biggest takeaways. And so for you guys, I really want to say first, like I said before, start small. Like I started on Instagram um, with just a couple months and um, really delving in to building relationships and helping other people and taking an interest in what they were doing and starting some of my own things. And so start small and really build into one community and sort of go from there. And then in the beginning, I said yes a lot. Um, I really needed to experiment and figure out for my platform and my writing and my writing process. I did a video all about my writing process so far and the things that I've learned that I wanna continue doing and not doing. Um, so I said a yes to a lot of different projects and a lot of different just endeavors. Um, so I needed to experiment. I had a lot of fun with that, but it was a lot. So this year I really need then to learn to say no a little bit. Actually, I think I just saw uh, Kim has Kim Chance has done a video on saying no. And so um, I'm not going to say no to everything, but I just know that I need to narrow down. So, but in the beginning, when you're first starting out with your platform and getting to know other writers, like feel free to say yes a lot. You won't know exactly where you're your niches or what you want to focus on until you sort of experiment. But then once you find your groove, you got to learn to like narrow down and say no, because you really need to keep writing first. I probably could have written and got on, gotten farther on my book if I had not done some of these things. But at the same time, um, I, I so needed this community and I so still need um, to develop these relationships. But now I think I need to, yeah, sort of have writing be even more of the forefront. And so don't forget to keep writing first because at the end of the day, like that's the ultimate goal is to write the book and publish the book. So keep writing first, um, but networking and making friends is priceless. Seriously, you guys, if you take nothing else away from this video, I hope you take that away. And always keep learning and being teachable. The reason that I think I've just done so much and like made so much progress is because I knew I couldn't do it alone. I knew I didn't know everything and that I needed help. And I wasn't afraid to ask for help, whether it was with writing and getting critiques and getting feedback, or it was with figuring out my other platform and what the heck I was doing with that. So those are my biggest takeaways. That's sort of a year in review, a year in the life for me going from, again, no book, no writing friends, no author platform to all of this. And I'm super excited to see what happens next year. I hope you guys had a ton of fun watching my journey. Definitely let me know down below, when did we get connected? Are we just meeting right now? Or did you come into contact with me through one of the challenges or one of my groups? Or how did we get connected? I would love to have sort of a record of that in the comments as 
well in addition to this video that would be so fun but i hope if nothing else that this inspired you that you can make a ton of progress in a year with your writing with your platform and um, just with these big takeaways of the building writing community. I hope this was helpful. I'm super excited to share my goals next week and I have a bunch of other great videos for you in the coming weeks, including some bullet journal videos and story structure videos. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you'd really like me to talk about this year or focus on. And if you'd like to connect with me more, obviously I have all my social media that is down below as well as my website and my newsletter. Thanks again so much for watching and for supporting my channel and until next week, happy writing.